Hi there, it's James Chapman with 123 Edge, and I'm going to show you how to claim your Facebook Places page. Yes, Facebook has undergone a tremendous initiative, very similar to Google, to create business listings for every existing business on the planet. Not every business is listed, but yours may be, and if it is, you want to be sure to claim your page before creating a new one. Now, if you've already created a Facebook business fan page for your business, have no fear, you can simply link the two together uh, if your Places page already exists. So let's get started. First, I'm going to take you to the resource guide for this on Facebook Help. And the best way to find that is just to go to Google and do a search for Facebook Places. Now, don't go to this first result here. Go to this third result where it says Facebook for Advertisers. This really kind of gives more of the details, and everything I'm going to show you right now is really kind of listed right in here. What you want to read is just read through these uh, FAQs here. How can I advertise? We're not going to be talking about advertising right now, but we, we are going to be talking about how do I claim a place for my business. So first thing you do is you're going to search for your business name via the Facebook search bar. So you're going to log into Facebook here, and you're going to go into your search bar, and I'm going to uh, do a local restaurant that uh, I've already claimed two of their locations and we're going to claim their third one today. So it's called Extapa and the one that we're going to claim, you can see the other two places which we've already set up and actually this is, uh, sometimes you'll have duplicate place listings and this is a duplicate listing which we will be merging with the correct listing as well. So keep in mind that you may see more than one listing for your business. So Extapa Hermiston. Now What's interesting about this is you'll see there is a listing under people, and this is a common error business that owners often make where they think they need to be on Facebook, and they get on Facebook and they set up a personal profile for their business. Now, this is actually a violation of Facebook's terms of service, and this page really needs to be deleted uh, and to go with one of these pages. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with this page because it is already set up as a restaurant, and it's already set up with the correct name. We're going to go to Google again, and we're going to look for the business Extapa Hermiston, Oregon. Okay, now Google also creates business listings, or what are called maps, uh, or Google Places, uh, for every business out there. And again, most business owners have not claimed these pages either, and there's a process by which you do that. But we're not going to get into that right now. That'll, that's the subject of another video. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and claim this page as the business owner. Now I have the business owner's permission. I'm helping them to set up this uh, page. And the way we do that is we're going to click on this arrow here next to this gear. And we just select this and we say, is this your business? Uh, if this represents your business, let us know. You can become the admin of this page. If your business already has another Facebook page, you can merge it with this one. People who are already connected to this page will become associated with your existing page. So again, it's okay if you already have a page. We're just uh, merging your places page. I'm an official representative of Extapa Mexican Restaurant. We're going to put in Extapa Family Mexican Restaurant. And we're going to get the address here from Google. and marketing phone number and website now you don't have to capitalize the letters in your website I just do that out of habit typically to be an admin on a page you want to claim the page from your personal profile. They're not really linked in any other way other than the fact that you can go in and make updates to your page as uh, as an admin. And then you can add admins and I recommend you always add an admin, one or two extra admins to your page in case you get locked out of your page somebody will always be able to access your page. That's very important because uh, I've seen it where people get locked out of their page and they only have one admin and so they're unable to access their Facebook page. They lose everything. They lose their friends and everything. So make sure you add an admin. But the first step is going ahead and claiming your page uh, through your personal account, and then you'll be able to log in to your Places page or your business fan page. So, okay, with the email, we can't claim it with the email because my personal email uh, is different than the email set up for Extapa Mexican Restaurant. 
but we can do it through documentation. And basically, documentation is uh, they're asking for a business document that shows your business name and address, uh, such as a utility bill, phone bill, etc., and uploading it. So I have a I have a document here, which is a, a bill, a utility bill, and it clearly shows the address of the business and that it's a utility bill. So we're going to upload this file. Uh, here it is, up a utility bill, open. And we're going to submit. All right. But the message basically said uh, they would review this information and uh, and then grant us access. Once that access is granted, you can go in and set up this page, which is what we will do in the next video. Go ahead and enter your name and email in the form, and I'll take you to the next video where I show you step-by-step -step exactly how to set up your Facebook page and really optimize it with a few little ninja tricks you'll find make a big difference in your Facebook presence. Not only that, I'm going to send you some additional information about how to claim your local business listings, your Google Place page, and some other uh, simple tricks you can implement to really make the most of your online presence. So go ahead and enter your name and email in, and we'll see you on the next video. Talk to you soon.